Hello, everyone. Today, in this presentation, I will be talking about the fairness aware, model agnostic, positive and unlabeled learning. I am Zi Wei from ICEL at University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. This is a joint work with Dr. Jin Rui He, and this project is supported by National Science Foundation. This presentation will be organized into four sections. I will first introduce the background of positive and unlabeled learning and the fairness issue within. Then I will clarify the problem definition and introduce our proposed method. Finally, I will show our experimental results and make a conclusion. Standard binary classification includes both positive and negative samples. However, in realistic applications, one certain class of data could be difficult to be collected or annotated. For example, in medical diagnosis, while we might safely consider a diagnosed patient to be positive, the much larger population of undiagnosed individuals are practically mixed with both positive and negative examples since people might be undergoing the disease's incubation period or might just have not seen doctors. Similarly, in recidivism prediction, the people who have recidivated can be labeled as positive, while the remaining unlabeled ones are mixed with both positive and negative samples. We call this learning setting as positive and unlabeled learning, short as PUL. Algorithmic discrimination across demographic groups is observed in existing PL systems. In breast cancer diagnosis, it has been observed that the accuracy of the diagnosis system is much lower for Black women compared with Caucasian. Racial discrimination is also observed in automatic crime prediction systems. Next, it comes to our problem definition. The training examples are drawn randomly from distribution P, X, S, L, Y, where X is a feature vector, S is a sensitive attribute, which we consider as binary here. The binary label L represents whether the example is labeled or not. The binary Y is a ground truth label, only part of the positive examples can be observed. That is, if L equals one, then Y must be positive. Otherwise, Y could be either zero or one. For each tuple that is drawn, only X as L is observed. We use the previously mentioned example of breast cancer as an illustration. Let's use circles to represent Caucasian women and squares for black women. A red cross means that the example is diagnosed with a cancer. In a PL dataset, we only have examples who have already been diagnosed with a cancer and the unlabeled ones who might have the cancer or might be healthy. For any classifier G, we denote its associated misclassification risk as RG. An optimal fair classifier is defined as below. G star is the arc minimizer of RG, where G is fair. In this example, we aim to make accurate cancer prediction and ensure fair treatment toward different races. Current work in fairness aware machine learning models in the classification task highly rely on both positive and negative supervised data. In a breast cancer example, both diagnosed and healthy data are necessary in the training data. On the other hand, the fairness issue is still underexplored in PL methods. For breast cancer, automatic diagnosis systems may have high accuracies for Caucasian women, while low accuracies for Black women. OK, now I will introduce how our proposed method deal with this issue. 
we accommodated two famous definitions in this work. The first is equalized odds, short as EO. We say that a binary classifier GXS is defined as satisfying equalized odds with respect to S and Y if both the true positive rates and false positive rates are the same across different sensitive groups. We say the classifier satisfies equal opportunity if it only shows the same true positive rates. Thus, we can see that EOP is actually a weaker constraint compared with EO. Using the fairness definition, our optimization problem becomes at this. We want to minimize the risk RG, where the classifier G should satisfy some fairness related constraint. This means that we add specific fairness constraints to the original problem. When y is in a set of 0 and 1, it satisfies EO. When y only equals to 1, it satisfies EOP. The minimizer for every Lagrange multiplier is formulated as below. In these equations, f is a predictor of whether an example is labeled or not. C is the label frequency. Lambda 1 is the Lagrange multiplier for the constraint of y equals 1, while lambda 2 is a 1 for y equals 0. Our proposed fair PL consists of three steps. First, we estimate the label frequency according to the following equation, where f hat is a trend predictor of the probability of whether a sample is labeled or not. We can see that this is actually an average estimator. And it is based on the following selected completely at random assumption, saying labeled examples are selected completely at random, independent from their attributes from the positive distribution. And C is defined here as a label frequency. In a real world scenario, the ground truth dataset may contain both positive and negative samples. We assume our observed PL dataset is obtained by labeling positive samples with frequency C and leave all the remaining positive and negative samples as unlabeled. Then we estimate unfairness. Under EO, the unfairness AOD is defined as the average of the absolute difference of true positive rates and false positive rates between two groups. Under EOP, the unfairness EOD is defined as the absolute difference between the true positive rates. These are indeed the difference of the two sides of the fairness definitions respectively. All the terms in the above equations can be estimated. Finally, we search for the optimal lambda with simulated annealing to minimize the unfairness. For the estimated g hat star, we just need to substitute all the unknown terms in the theoretical optimal classifier with their empirical estimators. Our proposed fair PL enjoys consistency. It enjoys both asymptotic fairness and asymptotic optimality. Next, I will show you our experimental results. In the experiments, we first studied how does fair PL compare with state of the art in fair classification and PL. On the synthetic dataset of binary classification, we compare our method with two lines of baselines. Fairness-aware classification, including pre-processing, in-processing, and post-processing methods, and PL baselines. For metrics, we use AOD and EOD to evaluate fairness level and error rate for classification performance. We compare these methods under different labeling rates. In the two figures, the dots with higher transparency correspond to the results under lower labeling rates. The closer the dot is to the origin, the more fair and more accurate the model is. 
from the figures, we can see that for all the methods, their classification performances drop as the labeling rate decreases. Under high labeling rates, our framework achieves much lower AOD and EOD, that is higher level of fairness, while maintaining a good level of accuracy. Under low labeling rates, our framework achieves much better performance in both classification accuracy and fairness. We also conduct experiments on three real world datasets, German, Compass, and Drug, using a labeling rate of 90%. From the table, we can observe that fair PL can strike a good trade off between classification performance and fairness. We also studied how do unlabeled examples affect fair PL. By changing labeling rates or simply adding more unlabeled samples, we can see that fair PL can leverage unlabeled samples for both better classification performance and higher fairness level. To conclude, the proposed fair PL first bridge the gap between fair classification and PL. Under mild assumptions, the model agnostic fair PL achieves asymptotic optimal fairness. Last but not least, balance could be struck for better classification performance and higher fairness level in PL. Thanks for listening. You can contact me at this email. Thank you.